everyone, I'm Startuck from FTC Team 9794Wizards.exe. Welcome to part 3 of our OpenCV for FTC video series. In this video, we're going to show you guys how to use the templates provided to you in the Doge CV library to create your own detectors. I'll show you an example for creating the gold detector, and I'll also show you an example for uh, detecting a different object. For example, a different field object, but for now I'll just do something that's on my desk right now. And then this is basically serving as an alternative solution to using the pre-written detectors in the Doge CV library that we explored in the last video. It's actually pretty simple to do this, and we'll jump into that in one second. But before we begin, I want to quickly mention a survey that I encourage you all to fill out about Doge CV. Uh, it's a Google form which we've linked in the description, or you could just take a look at the link right here. But um, this form was created by the creator of the library from First Tech Challenge Team 7195. And it's for those using the Doge CV library, and they want to collect feedback to improve the library based on what you guys put in the form. Since it would be helpful to the developers, I would encourage you guys to fill out the survey. And the link to the Google form is in the description below. So why don't we jump into Android Studio now? So if you go into the Doge CV module and go into detectors, you'll see that there is something called a generic detector. So if you open that up, this is basically a template for creating your own detector. And with just a few small changes, you can get it to detect what you want to. So if you guys just click on that, right click and copy it. Uh, copy. And then if you go into your team code folder, you can just paste it right into this package. And the first example we'll do is detecting the gold mineral using this detector. So I'll just call it gold mineral detector. And then it should create that class right here and open it up in your Android Studio Viewer. So if you just take a quick glance at this, uh, most of it is the same. It's the same structure as we looked at in the gold align detector, which we reviewed in the previous video. Now, there's really only one line that we have to change to get this to work with the gold detector, and that is this line over here for the color filter that we're using. Right now, you can see it's set to red, and since the gold mineral is more of a yellow color, I'm just going to quickly switch that to yellow. And then that should be the only change we really have to make to get this detector working. Um, now, to test the detector, we are going to have to create an example class. So if we take the example from the last video we used, which is found in the examples folder uh, in the Doge CV folder, if you haven't done that already. But this is the class we used in the last video to test our detector. So if you copy this and paste it into your team code folder, I'll just call it gold mineral detector test. And it'll open that up. Um, we have to change two things in here. Uh, the first one is this gold align detector. Since we're not using that, we're using a gold mineral detector. We'll have to change that. And then you'll see some errors come up. We have to change this gold align detector to gold mineral detector since we're initializing a different type of object. And then these two parameters are not applicable to the detector that we are using, so we'll just get rid of those. And then the methods for accessing this information have changed. Uh, since this detector only looks for the gold mineral and returns to X position, the isAlign function is not available to us right now, so we'll remove that. And then, uh, you see this X, we can still get the X position, except we have to do it calling a different method. So you can do detector.get uh, screen position, which returns a point object. And from that, you can access the X value, which is a float. And that'll just display that on the telemetry data on the driver station screen. The last thing we'll have to change up is this uh, op mode register name. We can call it a uh, gold mineral detector test. And we'll just keep the group in Doge CV. And then you guys can just click that and download that onto your robot controller phone. And then we'll test that out. Okay. 
All right, so once that finishes compiling for you guys, uh, go ahead and open up your robot controller and driver station phones. And you see if we open up the op mode register, we see our gold mineral detector test. Uh, we can initialize and play that. And now you'll see that um, the detector, it's choosing the gold mineral. You can see how it's isolating that top part. If we so you can see how it's detecting that from different angles and returning that X value, which you can see on the driver station phone, you can see it's around 160, 170. And that same number is appearing on the left side of the information right over here on the robot controller phone. So you see by only changing that one line in the detector code, we were able to get that working pretty easily. Now, what I want us to do is I have a kind of a, a blue screwdriver on my desk. So I want to be able to detect that using the Doge CV detector. And that's also as easy as creating that gold mineral. So if we go back to our detector over here and scroll up, we just have to change our color filter to blue. And then all the processing will be the same. It's just going to be looking for that blue color instead of that yellow color. So you can just go ahead and download that onto your phone, and we'll I'll show you guys how that works out. On your own time, you can also change... There are a few other color options available. You have yellow, blue, red, and white. So you can use that to detect different objects. And like on the field, for example, you can see how you can detect a silver mineral or any other object you feel that might be have some vision application in the game. And then just download it onto your phone and test it out. See how it works out. Is it consistent? And you can also play around with some of the different scores that you want to use to kind of improve your results on that. So once this downloads, I'll show you guys how it worked out. All right, so we have our program downloaded. I'll pull up my uh, robot controller and driver station screen. I didn't change the name of the program, it's still Gold Mineral Detector Test, so we can initialize that. And you see I have this uh, blue BAE Systems uh, screwdriver over here. And you can see how it's choosing that blue part of the screwdriver, uh, despite when I turn it around. And there are some spots where it gets tricked up a little bit, for the most part, it's returning that information for the X and for the X position on both the driver's station screen and this screen over here. So you are getting a, some level of consistency with that. And that so you can play around with the different color filters that you're using to detect different objects. Which, depending on how you guys go about this year's game in terms of strategy, may be useful in either autonomous or even in teleop if you see some application for that. This concludes uh, part three of our OpenCV for FTC video series. Um, as usual, please let us know in the comments if you had any issues or need some help troubleshooting any problems that come up during this process. Again, I encourage you guys to fill out this Doge CV survey uh, linked in the description below, as it will be very helpful for the developers of this library. And if they get more feedback, they will be able to improve the library for you guys. Part 4 of the video series will go into how to use Vuforia along with the OpenCV library for vision applications. Thanks for watching.